All right, so before we get into our goals breakdown video between FC Cincinnati and Philadelphia Union for the Eastern Conference semifinals, I just wanted to let you guys know this will be the second to last video of this year that you guys will see. The last video I'll break down in a couple of weeks are my top 10 goals scored by the Union in the 2023 MLS regular season. Then we won't have any more videos until the 2024 MLS season. Obviously, I'll still be making podcasts, so check out the podcast if you guys haven't done that. But this is the only goal from this match between Cincinnati and Philadelphia Union. This one scored by Cincinnati center back Yersin Mascara. Controversial call to end this game here with a potential offsides. Uh, we see this comes off of a set-piece play with Acosta playing the ball out wide to Barbial. Barbial is going to go ahead and wait for the run. Picks out the pass to Ian Murphy. Nobody marks Mascara. There's a free shot on goal. And Cincinnati in the 94th minute take the 1-0 lead against the Philadelphia Union. No time for the Union to fight back to try to score an equalizer. This looks like this goal is going to stand. Andre Blake, you can see, trying to encourage his teammates. Come on, come on. We still have time. But uh, unfortunately for the Union, that was not to be. But as we heard during the broadcast, this was being looked at by VAR. Who could potentially be offside? And that is Ian Murphy. And so we'll see here in a second. I'll try to slow it down and give you guys the best possible line I can give. But as you can see right here, Julian Kranz's arm can't be the thing that's holding Ian Murphy on side. So you go by the armpit. And this is one of only two angles that we got by MLS that we saw during the broadcast. And even the broadcasters were confused by this call. It looks from this angle that Ian Murphy is clearly offsides. That was not the case. And regardless of this being offsides or not, I have a bigger issue. You can see Mascara right there. He's goal side of Olivier Baizo. So number one, bad defending here. No way you should let Mascara get inside of you like Olivier Baizo did here. But number two, we're going to see four Philadelphia Union players all just standing right there. Jack Elliott, Damian Lowe, Nate Harriel, and Olivier Baizu. Nobody follows runs. They're all caught flat-footed. Mascara goes unmarked, takes a touch, and there's nothing Andre Blake could do about this. No pressure on Mascara whatsoever when you're that close to goal whether you're a center back or not, this is a shot you got to be putting on target. This is a shot that you've got to be scoring from, and that's exactly what Mascara does. It's a big moment here in this game. A controversial call doesn't go to VAR. The VAR tells the officials on the field that, hey, the goal is good. Cincinnati with a 1-0 lead. All right, so we'll go ahead and look at some other key plays in this game. We'll see two saves by Andre Blake. We'll see a block by Olivier Baizo. And then we'll go ahead and look at some chances that the Union created that they weren't able to capitalize on. And so this is the first really big play in this game. This is a save by Andre Blake on Brendan Vazquez here. A set piece for Cincinnati. We're going to see Olivier Baizo completely whiff on this ball. Brendan Vazquez gets a chance to try to put Cincinnati up. 1-0 in the 12th minute, but Andre Blake says not so fast. Ball sent in. Baizo misses. Brandon Vasquez there to try to put the ball in the back of the net. But this is really good awareness here by Andre Blake for just not giving up on this play, for being aware of all situations. Yes, you expect your defender to win this ball, clear it. There's nobody around Olivier Baizo. He should clearly win this ball. You can see the Union are playing a high line here, and there's no issues with an offsides call whatsoever. Brandon Vasquez is on the backside of Alejandro Bedoya right there, number 11. And you can see he's clearly behind the last defender for the Union. So no controversy here, but it's it's good awareness by Andre Blake. You expect Olivier Baze to win this ball, and it completely goes through his legs. Good awareness there by Brandon Vasquez for not giving up on this play, doing what all good strikers do. Follow the ball. Don't give up on the play. Andre Blake says, yeah, not so fast. I'm going to stand tall, protect my near post, and keep this one out of the back of the net. Huge chance there. Chance number two in this game here. Cincinnati looked to break on the counterattack. 
Bupenza skips past Jack Elliott easily here. Looks like Cincinnati are going to break. Damian Lowe does a good job to slow him down. Forces Bupenza to shoot outside the 18-yard box. And that's a huge save there by Andre Blake. It's a really, really good strike there by Bupenza. And it's a simple ball out of the back. Jack Elliott pushes forward to get the ball off of Bupenza. That's fine. And you can see right here, Bupenza's eyes are looking left towards Brandon Vasquez. Brandon Vasquez is pointing to where he wants the ball. It's good defending here by Damian Lowe after Jack Elliott push up into the field. It, it kind of leaves Damian Lowe here on an island. Yes, he has to be aware of Brendan Vasquez, but he also has to be aware of how Aaron Bupenza is going to shift, where the pass might come, where the shot might come. So this is really good defending here by Damian Lowe, forcing Bupenza to take the shot out wide. And uh, you can see that that ball is just going lower and lower, and it's a huge save there by Andre Blake to keep this game scoreless. All right, so then this is the block by Olivier Bizo. Uh, you can see just Cincinnati starting with playing this ball out of their back. Uh, a lot of good on this play, but also a lot of really, really bad. Uh, you can see just no pressure, no urgency by the Union to take this ball. Nobody's really putting pressure on Alvis Powell, but right here, here's play number one that cannot happen. Uh, you can see the four midfielders there by the Union, McGlynn, Gazag, Bedoya, and Martinez. Martinez being the base of the diamond. And so you have all these players playing man-to-man. -man. You have Jose Martinez for a majority of this game just shadowing Luciano Acosta all over the field, always being aware of where he's at. But that pass by Alvis Powell right through the midfield, a line-splitting pass just right down the middle of the field. That cannot happen whatsoever. You can see all the space. There, There's nobody there whatsoever. Ideally, that's where Jose Martinez would be, but because he's always aware, always following Luciano Acosta, he's out of position here, and that allows this pass just to go right through the midfield here, and Aaron Brupenza can go ahead and collect this ball, no pressure on him. Damian Lowe, not sure what he should do, commits, and Brupenza goes right by him. Baizo does a good job slowing him down, but then he, he gets that ball and kicks it right to Brandon Vasquez, and uh, it's good awareness by Olivier not to give up on this play after he had a missed pass. Gets the initial block, but uh, you can look. Bupenza running for Lee Baizo. Good job here. Wins the ball right there, and you can see it comes off of his left foot, and he miskicks this ball inside his own box. You, you can't have this. The ball falls to Brendan Vasquez. Good job there, Jack Elliott, for taking away the shot. Olivier Baizo following this up and blocking the shot out for a Cincinnati corner kick, but... It starts with that pass by Alvis Powell down the middle of the field. Not good enough for the Union. All right, so the last thing that we'll end with are four big chances by the Union in this game. Uh, the first one we're going to see here is the biggest chance of the night created by the Union. This one off of a throw-in with Olivier Baizo, and the chance is going to fall to Mikhail Ua. So Baizo is going to go ahead and throw this ball down to Mikhail Ua. Mikhail's going to chest it down to Julian Carranza. And we're going to follow the movement of Daniel Gazag and Mikhail Ua, Daniel Gazag in number 10. And, and Daniel Gazag's movement here is so clever here. It, it pulls Ian Murphy away from Mikhail Ua, and it gives Mikhail a clear shot on goal. But he gets this one terribly wrong. And I saw a lot of people complaining, oh, Daniel Gazag doesn't do a lot. Well, this movement right here doesn't show up on stat sheets. But that movement created the chance for Mikel Ua. And he's not able to put the shot on target. It's a huge missed opportunity there. And Mikel Ua knows this. Union know this. That's one that they would love to have had back. Chance number two, though, right here. Uh, this is going to be the Union playing out of the back here. Junior Gazag is going to send this ball down the line to Julian Carranza. And it's a good run by Julian. But, unfortunately, he's not able to hit the back of the net with this chance. It's, it's good ball movement by the Union for Daniel Gazag, who's typically playing in the center of the field, plays that ball down the line to Julian Carranza, and that's one that he's got to be testing the goalkeeper. You see Mascara, one offsides there, not given. But again, a, a huge missed opportunity here by the Union. Didn't create a lot of chances, but the chances you create, you've got to put those shots on target. Two for two shots, not on target so far here on the Union. 
Mikhail Uwe here with the third chance by a uh, uh, quick restart by the Union. It's a good block there by Mascara. And y you're going to see a little theatrics here by Mascara. Tries to get Julian Kranza sent off here. The referee's not buying it. And th this is just really, really poor from the Colombian center back here. I posted a close-up on my Twitter if you guys want to see that full video. But Mascara's acting like Julian Carranza elbowed him in the face, and uh, Julian got nowhere close to the face of Mascara. But here's that chance. Ball whipped in by Daniel Gazdag. The two center backs for Cincinnati run into each other. Mikel has to put this, has to put this chance on target. Ball doesn't go in the back of the net for the Union, and uh, Cincinnati did a good job all night long just really defending well. Not giving the Union too many opportunities. But this is the last big chance for the Union on the night. This one comes courtesy of Nate Harriel, who we're just going to track here on this play. Union doing a good job forcing Bupenza to go back towards his goal. Nate Harriel with the ball out wide with Alejandro Bedoya. Bedoya back into Nate Harriel. And that's a great strike there by Nate. Not sure why Junior Moreno stopped following Nate Harriel. It allows Nate to get this free strike on target. But th this ball was always curving towards Celitano. And this is an easy save for the Cincinnati goalkeeper. But uh, not good enough by the Union offensively. Had chances, but couldn't find the back of the net. 